Hey people, I'm here today at the ADE -A -E Amsterdam and next to me is Anton van Lieshout. He's from Slam. This is, uh, let's say, the biggest dance radio from the Netherlands. Uh, hi Anton, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Slam? Yeah, well, yeah, Slam obviously is a nationwide radio station. We have a music mix of primarily dance music, also some pop influences. And we have an audience of about 800,000 people uh, listening uh, on a weekly basis. Wow, um, I think internationally Slam is also a little known, well, not, not widely known of course because it's a Dutch station, mm -hmm. but you're somehow, I guess, leading the way uh, if it comes down to dance music, right? Well, yeah, there are really uh, some examples of dance music you like departing from the Netherlands and then going globally. Uh, I remember uh, Ferrari by James Hype, uh, which was a huge record last year. Yeah. It got its, uh, its first place uh, here in the Netherlands and months after that the UK. So, and uh, yeah, James Hype is from the UK, so it's really interesting to see that a song can depart from a country like the Netherlands. Yeah. Wow, so he actually started here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just immediately after releasing that record, we added it to the playlist and it became a hit. Uh, I mean, you never know it for sure, but we really felt that record, yeah. Yeah, well, this is exactly, I think, what a lot of users from, like you, uh, would like to know more about how to get your song on the playlist at a big radio station. Uh, well, can you tell me a little bit about your job? Because your job is very relevant for you if you want to have your song airplayed. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, there is loads and loads of music. So, uh, to get your song on the radio, um, of course, everyone wants that, um, but the chances are small. I, I gotta be honest. But the best way is to have um, some promo people, you know, that are really pushing it to the to radio. It can be management, it can be a record label, uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a major because they have all kinds of priorities, so independent works really well. Uh, for example, here in the Netherlands, we got labels like Spinner Records, Amada Music. They really push their uh, their songs, and that that uh, helps, you know, um, to gain attraction for a song. Because, like I said, there's so many music out there, so it's really difficult for uh, a solo artist to do it all yeah, on your own, you know. Okay, so that's the first part. Uh, get someone to promote you to actually arrive at the station you could say that yeah, but then yeah. then uh, some then, then the next filter comes up which is for example you or your colleagues yeah well um, for example uh, on Tuesdays every Tuesday we have people coming in from record companies they uh, promote music uh, they push music and uh, lots of uh, those tracks will never uh, be played um, not because it's not quality music, it's, it's pretty much all good, but we only have room for like three or four records a week. Wow. So we listen to the music, we give feedback why we don't play it or sometimes why we did uh, add it to the playlist. Uh, but apart from that, a lot of music uh, will not be promoted directly to us, but we look at uh, certain playlists on Spotify and we track the performance of tracks. So, for example, uh, new music Friday and then the dance version of it. It's really interesting for us to see after a week which of those songs um, get following playlists by Spotify because they have a lot of data and we see if a track is just one week on the, the playlist or if it evolves to a major playlist like Mint for example. And uh, if a song performs really well on uh, DSPs like Spotify, then it uh, is more interesting for us to also add it to our playlist. That makes sense. Uh, may I ask how many new songs are submitted every Tuesday? Well, uh, at Slam it's about like 50 songs a week, which is not a huge amount uh, of music. I mean, compared to, you know, like a Spotify that releases like 120,000 tracks yeah. a day. That's, that's a completely different world, but it is also because um, not everybody comes around, you know? It's not like um, we have uh, a line outside and people line up and just, you know, uh, come by. So it's, it's a pretty small circle of people promoting music in the Netherlands. Um, so yeah, around 50 tracks. All right, 
So, if you listen to music, yeah. what are the things that you look for? Because five or four out of 50, that's like 10%, one out of 10 yeah. goes to the playlist yeah. uh, to, check, to well, actually check them on the radio and see what happens. Yeah. Um, so, can you tell us a little bit of, uh, yeah, what are your ears uh, checking? Well, um, several things. Sometimes it's just gut feeling. You hear a record, uh, for example, the Joel Corey song, Head and Heart. Uh, the first time we, we, we were listening to that song, we had something like, this is really a good radio song. And we were supporting Joel for years already, but this was the first thing, uh, first song we thought was, you know, a hit. And later on, you know, it, it became a hit. Uh, so, like I mentioned, you never know it for sure, but sometimes you have that gut feeling. Um, apart from that, you look for music that stands out because you have the playlist and you don't want to give everyone uh, the same sound, you know? So uh, we had a uh, time span where Slap House was really working on radio. Now it's more like the pop rave tunes that really work, but you cannot have 40 pop rave tunes on the playlist. So uh, balance is really uh, important for us. So um, uh, for example, the pop rave thing where yeah, I'm mentioning now, um, a lot of DJs are following each other, you know, to, to come with a record, with the same song. Yeah, and that's also like a dangerous thing because at one point, you know, we have too many, you know, yeah. on the playlist. And years and years ago, the Tropical House was booming. Yeah, uh, yeah Kygo, Sam Feld, uh, you name it. Uh, but copies. Exactly, and, yeah. and then you have too many of the same songs. It's, so you gotta have balance, uh, you gotta have songs that stand out. Uh, sometimes songs take off. Uh, for example, Elke Klein transmission last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't meant for radio, but it worked really well. It worked really well. And uh, it got a lot of airplay in the Netherlands, also in Belgium. I think you pushed it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I can only you know name examples uh, which I'm sort of proud of and that started at Slam. But obviously, uh, at other stations, there are more examples uh, to explore, yeah. Okay. Um, I want to thank you for this moment and uh, wish, wish you uh, good luck with your job. I think it's a very interesting job, very nice, very yeah. creative uh, and always on top of, uh, you know, new stuff. So thank you for this moment and uh, we're going to share this with our audience too. All right. Yeah, well, nice chatting to you. Okay, keep it here for more uh, advice, more interesting interviews and stuff. And um, enjoy Project at Audio and enjoy Slam. Uh, where can we listen to Slam if you're international? Well, uh, slam.nl um, or tune in and type in Slam Radio and then you'll find it. Thank you, Anton.